Let us pray. Father, we glorify your holy name. For this a beautiful day, we magnify in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that you will speak to us and the understanding of this truth, O oh Lord, will come to us and establish in us so that we will be able to walk with you. Because many people discover that going to places to worship, to sing, to hear the word, but they never connect with the truth. Lord, open the hear of your people, our hear, so we can have a proper ways of walking with you. So shall it be in the precious, mighty name of Jesus Christ and amen. Let everybody receive it. Glory be to the name of the Lord. We thank God for this precious day. The Lord has chosen. The Lord has made. The Lord has revealed and making us to be part of it today. Be exalted, Almighty God. Uh, now, God is asking me to talk about this title called Walk with God. Walk with God. What are we talking about? Walking with God. How do you walk with God? If what is walking with God? Um, it's not just to go to church. That means that you're going to, that means you're walking with God. No, it's not so. Walking with God is to abide in His world. To abide in His world. Um, the book of Haggai hey the 2, I'm going to read from verse 1 to verse 4. Haggai hey chapter 2 from First one to first four. In the seven months, in the one and twenty days of the month, it came the word of the Lord by the prophet Haggai, saying, Verse 2, Speak now to Zerubbabel, the son of Jethel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Jezreel, the high priest, and to the radius of people say, Who is left among you that saw this house in the first glory? And how do you see it now? Is it not in your eyes in comparison of it as nothing? First of all, yet now be strong. O Zerubbabel, say it, the law. Be strong, O Joshua, son of Jesus, the high priest, and be strong, O ye people of the land, say it, the law, and walk, for I am with you, say it, the laws of hosts. I know this is a prophecy that is coming at all. Uh, a house of Zerubbabel and God is opening the eyes to see what they are doing, how they are working with him, how they are standing in this wall and wanting to make them to remember they need to continue in the way of righteousness, walking in righteousness, walking in righteousness, it's like John three sixteen. John three sixteen 
said, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believe in him shall not perish. And now, I want you to think about you believing in him. Many accepted him. Many followed his way. Hear this. Whosoever believe in him shall not perish. Many coming out from your own way. They are the natural way. They lie way. Unfaithful way. And walk according to ways of righteousness. You need to get this clear. And then the perfection of his glory will now establish in you. That is when your name will be written in the book of life. It's not that you confess Jesus Christ. Yes, I'm giving my life to Jesus today. And you said, it because it, it, indeed it's a grace. It's a mighty grace that it came to establish your humanity. And that grace will work for you until you embrace the grace. And that grace will work for you when you embrace the grace. Meanings letting the old thing depart out of you. No wonder the Bible says that behold, all things have passed away, all things have become new. When all things passes away, the lie you will tell, you will tell it no more. If you are sitting there in line, you are, the old thing is not yet passed away out of your life. That grace is no more standing for you, no. It's not. Then when you are sitting, commit adultery, fornicating, it's not working for you. That grace is not working. It's a walk before me and the walk perfect. Well, what is perfection? The perfection rule over imperfection. The perfection control imperfection. But imperfection make you to keep your ways of a godly. I look at up the time of Eli when he was a priest over the children of Israel. He allowed imperfection to rule over the children of Israel and they were ruined in the hand of enemy. The false in Sabbath day, he called their attention to their imperfection. God does not walk in imperfection. If God is walking in imperfection, yeah, they are supposed to win. They are uh, the Philistine when they carry the idol. But let me tell you, imperfection put people in bondage. This is not a matter of grammar. It's a matter of understanding the truth. This is not a matter of anointing they are going to see being demonstrated. No, it is a matter of you correcting your way. In actual truth of his kingdom ways, he has laid down. Walk before me and be perfect. And the Lord, if you see, study this story very well, God has to let them understand the day you depart. Meanings, you begin to like the idol. You begin to like idolatry. You begin to like lying. You begin to like stealing. What is going to happen to you? Something that is not belong to you, your eyes were just there. You were just looking for a way to just have it at all costs. Hello. It's not for you. It's not meant for you. It's not given to you. Be satisfied with what God has given to you. Embrace that truth. Don't let your eyes be going up and down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if you look at Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11. What Hebrews chapter 11 verse 5 says. It says, by faith, Enoch was translated that he should not sit dead. It is not true corruption though. No, 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 no. You need to understand that. Not when he began to follow in wrong way. Because he emulated righteousness. He allowed purity. He allowed sincerity. 
to establish in his life. And that is why you could not be found. Because God has translated him. God took him. And God refused to let him see dead. He never died naturally. God took him. What that means to you. You need to understand what we call is asking for all footprints is subject to his command. All footprints. You need to be faithful. <laughs> Not to look one area of your life difficult to do to, or what God is trying to let you understand. Jesus Christ made us understand. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Every other thing shall be added unto you. Every other thing. Why? Because he made everything. God, he has everything to himself. He said it in this book of Haggai chapter 2. He made everything. I will endeavor you to go and read the chapter. Then you'll be able to have the fullness of the beauty of the glory of God in walking with God. When you decide not to walk with God anymore. What is being born again? What is being born again? Born again means you change from your old way to the new way of God. Hello? Born again means to change from your old way. If we look at Galatians chapter 5, Galatians, the book of Galatians chapter 5, let me quickly open it. Galatians chapter 5. And um, the scripture tells us the works of the flesh. It said, now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are days, adultery, adultery, fornication, uncleaning, lafeciousness, adultery, witchcraft, hatred, virency, evolution, corrupt, strife, sedition, heresy, envy, Morris, drunkenness, revelling, and such like, of which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. You know, the funny part of it today, ministers of God are heavy each other. They are heavy the gift of A. They are heavy the gift of B. Because this one is writing in this version, you cannot write in that version. What is a headache? Did you know you need to get blessed from what that one that is given to you? That you need to start looking the way and to stand in the way of that one will not be known. And you say you're born again, and you say you're of the Jesus, <laughs> and don't know what you will explain to God when you get to heaven. By obstructing the word of God. Strives, heresies, coming with the divine, demonic word and imparting into life and thinking you are doing the will of God and thinking you are doing the work of God and thinking you are walking with God. No, you are not walking with God, you are walking with them. Understand what this means. Understand what this means. Understand what this by faith. Enoch was translated that he should not see dead and not found because God translated him. For before his translation, uh, translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. What do I mean? Meanings to what we call it out to please God. Okay, I will give you a different kind of uh, examples. Why people divorce? Why? Because they cannot work together. Hello? Why friends separated? Because they find their language is not understandable to each other. Then these are things that is not supposed to be happening in the midst of ministers of government is common today heavy and jealousy for what 
you are what you are by what grace make you to be and if you have focus on what you are that is what your blessing is the glory of God rested in what God make you to be but when you begin to oppose other you are not working with God you are outside the God you are against the God I don't know how people go to get this to let it settle in their heart. Let it settle in their life. To know that they can't need to come to God. Letting the things of the world depart from you. Letting the things that is not supposed to be found in God begin to establish in you. Oh my God. If Abraham behaved this way, can we have the grace that you have? The light of glory of God came through Abraham. It came through Abraham in chapter 17 of Genesis. Genesis chapter 17. And when Abraham was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am Almighty God, walk before me and be thou perfect. God did not say, I won't have holiness. God did not say, no, he said it, I will be managing you. All of you, you only go there and be talking, you know, graduate, graduate. I don't know where you're learning from the scripture. So if you want to go to hellfire, don't listen to graduate, graduate. Hear the truth. Lying is lying, you can't need to stop it. Stealing is stealing, you can't need to stop it. I was in a church. Now, uh, as I was ministering, and the Lord was telling me, a woman that walked as a caregiver, the Lord told me, when you're walking, you are stealing the authority, you're bringing it home as a child of God. You felt it is your benefit. This is what meant for the whole people to take care of. You are shutting the ration of the company. Stealing what is not belong to you. The Lord told me promptly on the altar. I say, you are a thief. Is that you are stealing? Taking what is not belong to you. With the order is not given to you. And you say, come back to each other and say, praise God. Because your pastor cannot see what you're doing. And because they're going to tell you of your time you pay, of whatever you are trying to contribute to, stealing. And you think you are working with God? Hell is on your way. I'm just telling you the truth. It is a bitter truth that hard to believe. You got me to walk with God. Walking with God is what God is demanding from you. And no one that walk with God without seeing the result of preaching of His glory. You got me to walk with God for you to enjoy the benefit of God. I saw some things when I came back from Africa. Also, group of pastors were just talking about God revealed everything to me. And the one you for call friends is part of them too. The arrogance came upon him. I just look at everything and I'm quiet. How to keep my mouth shut. How to let them go with their negative. Instead of trying to stand to the truth and rebook the wrong, they were praising negativities. I thank God because I'm, I'm, I'm not just acting based on my personal understanding, but I thank God because the Spirit of God is in me and is leading me to do what I'm doing. I have no regret because no one can build what God has given to you if God did not build it. It is God himself that will be with his house. No man. Hallelujah. So you need to understand what truth of eternity means. How to walk with God. You keep on gossiping. The one you are gossiping about, you are seeing him improving. Hallelujah. 
The Bible tells me the Sadducees on the all gather themselves. They are looking a way to question Jesus, to decrease him, that they cannot stop. At the end, they found themselves. This is sounds so foolish, man. The king of king, the lily of Judah, that even knowing your heart before you're speaking. You want him to decrease the kingdom of God. Walk without you better turn back from that your negativities. Even that hatred you are having right now, if you listen to this one, uh -huh, is giving you a big trouble, a judgment of mighty God. You God need to give your life to Jesus. Reconcile with him. Walk with God. I'm be down, perfect. That's what the Lord is saying to Abraham here. Let me tell you, what light are you shining? What is that light you are shining? Hear this, Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. He said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good work and glorify your Father in heaven. Hallelujah. You go down and gossiping. You go around, go around and be talking, you know, abuse the kingdom war taking what is not belong to you and uh, not respect the truth of the kingdom of god and because of however you choose your own life the one thing i know is this however you choose your own life judas is used to deprive against jesus christ is that what you are planning to let it control your life? Your man be gossiping. Your must still be money lying to people. Just get money out of their uh, pocket for you to live a lost life. Not actually the kingdom of God you're talking about. A lot of people would tell them, I want you to donate just $5 a day. It's okay. Are you actually using the money for the kingdom of God? You say, how lustrous you live. Based on the truth of what you are telling people. Think about it. Then if you are there, you've not even born again. Or you are in a church whereby they only tell you how to bring and bring and bring. And yet you not enjoy the truth of the kingdom of God. Yet you didn't even find that glory established in you. You better think about what you better hear now. You better think about it. But you know, if the word of God cannot change you from your sinful nature and be shouting grace, grace upon you, you're on your way to hell. Because the Bible says, no unclean thing will enter therein. Revelation chapter 21. I want you to hear this one. It's very, very clear. Revelation chapter 21. Verse 8. Hear this. It said, But the fearful and unbelieving, if you let the spirit of unbelieving begin to rule over you of the truth, you hear it or not? Hear this. And the abominable and the murderers and warmongers, and sorcerers, and adulterers, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake which burned with fire, and prison, which is the second day. I don't really know. You know, I, I, I get scared when I begin to look at what will happen to me in the after death. I get scared, but women need to still refuse to understand the crying of the truth that is coming to you all the time that when you close your eyes out of this world you say you are serving God but our daughter is still there you say you are serving God lying is it there you say you are serving God in your office you know how you are manipulating tell lies to get money out you know, you know it, you know it. And you want to make heaven? The scripture tells you. I'm going to read it again. But the fearful and unbelieving 
and abominable and murderers and warmongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in life which burn it with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. The physical death when you come out of this body. I've, I've said this many times to most of people that follow my message. I told a lot of people, you need to care for your soul. But you are caring for the food of my God. You got to get this understanding. Either we like it or not, this flesh has to get out of you. It's not going to help with you. If not, neither go to hell. But it is your soul that is going. But people refuse to understand this. Because devil is a manipulator. It shows people different type of things. It makes you to understand some things. Out of invisible. When your spirit man connected with devil. It's not his flesh. No. It is your soul. And that is what we are fighting for. That is what the world. That is why the world is coming to you. To think about it. The Bible says it is appointed for a man to die once after death. Judgment. That's nothing you can do about it. No one will have the power to resist that people of the glory. So God wants you to walk with him. Working with God, you need to actually believe in totality of the word of God. In righteousness. In righteousness. In righteousness. In righteousness. Matthew 5, 16 again. Let your light so shine before them that they may see your good work and glorify your Father in which is in heaven. Which is in heaven. God is our Father. God is our Father. God is the one that has power to rule. To establish his kingdom upon us for his glory. And the power of the beauty may rest upon us. Hallelujah. He loves you. I want you to think about your way. Begin to look at whatever I'll be using to rob you. Allow it of faithful to keep on growing in your life. Allow of faithful to begin to establish you in to the hair fire. Allow a faithful to make you to be in darkness. Time for you to wake up. This is the actual truth. Because I'm not the one that wrote what I read to you here. This is the truth word of God, which is life to correct, to build you to perfection of his kingdom. And that is why he wants you to walk with him. Walking with God is to live right. Walking with God is to do His will. Walking with God is to stay in His will. Don't let anything distract you. Any distraction that is coming wanting to make you not to walk with God. And want you to walk in that way. My friends, the truth has been said to you. Think about it. You have only one life. One life. Not to lie, one life. The second one, that is when you come out of this body, a reality of you will now expose to yourself and you will understand where you're heading to. Walk with God. Walk with God. That is what is depending from you. Walk with God. Walk with God. And the Bible say, in walking with God, look at the advantage of walking with God. After a little bit of patience of walking with God, then you begin to see the result of fullness of the glory of God. The apostles, they walk with Jesus. He told them to stay in the upper room because they are walking with him. What followed? 
What they think they cannot do, the manifestation of the glory of God, what they set upon them, the power of God, begin to heal. Open the eyes of light. Because there are benefits of your obedience walking with God. Yes. No wonder Jesus Christ, he made it so clear. Seek ye the kingdom of God. And this righteousness, every other thing shall be added unto you. The kingdom is very important. The false Adam has misled us. The false Adam has brought negativity to us. The false Adam opened the way of destruction to every humanity. And that is why the beginning of the children was chaos. Was chaos. Because they saw themselves to see them. Don't do that. That is why Christ came to destroy the works of the devil. In order to give you abundant life. Abundant life is waiting for you. Abundant provision is waiting for you. When you walk with God. When you walk with God. When you stay in God. You got to walk with God. The grace is abundantly open for you. The glory is abundantly waiting for you. When you walk with God. When you walk with God. When you walk with God. I want you to close your eyes right now. As you listen to me. The Lord I will walk with you. Just begin to tell God. I will walk with you.